Kevin from Whole Fleet Diagnostics here. Uh, this video, we're going to do a, a VGT actuator installation and calibration on a Cummins um, X model engine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get connected to that X series. So down X series. Uh, we'll do a CM2450 um, X15. Uh, let's go ahead and hit connect here. And what we're going to be looking for here on the diagnostic dashboard is the calibration procedure for the VGT turbocharger. So this would be any time that you are replacing an actuator or a turbocharger itself. We, we need to match that turbo and that VGT to one another. So the first step here is we are going to do the... Um, uh, the, the, the installation procedure. And then after we've uh, done that, we're going to inst physically install that actuator and then we're going to do the calibration. So under the calibration section, uh, we've got injector coating option and then we've got that VGT turbocharger. Um, so the first step here is the initial installation. So we've got this thing um, removed from the actual turbocharger itself. Uh, this is going to allow us to go through and, and set this into a, a learn mode um, on uh, before we install it on the physical turbocharger itself. So this actuator um, it went through. Uh, we're going to do the individual steps here. So we got some information uh, on, on how to you know set this thing up for the actual install procedure. Um, step two here is to start the procedure. So we make sure that you uh, understand exactly what needs to be removed um, and where that uh, assembly needs to be located before we start this procedure. And once we're done that, you'll see it's, it's, it's spinning around that, that pinion gear here. We got a nice little animation added to the software, um, 23.2 version of the software here. So it's going to go through and, and get into its learning mode. And then once we're done that, we're going to go down to the calibration. So for the calibration side of things, uh, this is where we're actually going to go through and install um, that that turbocharger actuator on the turbocharger itself. Um, so we got to make sure we meet the requirements here. Engine should not be running at this point. Um, and then we're going to get this uh, this this uh, this list of steps. So how to correctly position uh, the gear, right? And then how to assemble that VGT actuator onto the uh, the turbocharger itself. Um, and then next is the calibration process. So this is where um, we're going to find the endpoints of that turbocharger itself. Um, so it's going to go through and do its sweeps, and then it's going to set a maximum and a minimum position uh, for that uh, that sector gear. Okay, so um, the nice, uh, nice little animations added for um, version 23.2 of the uh, the JAL test software, uh, but that's how you go through and do a VGT turbocharger installation calibration on a Cummins X15. Um, 2450 ECM. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else or you have any questions, just comment below. Uh, make sure you give us a follow. 